back to my channel guys and today I'm going to be reviewing the elf foundation and concealer if you want to see what I thought about this foundation and concealer please keep watching and I just want to say that this is my second time making this video because I lost the footage on the first one which is okay because that means I get to tell you guys a little bit more about the product the foundation is a frosted glass container it contains 0.68 fluid ounces not a whole fluid ounce but close i feel like it looks like a nars foundation packaging this is in the shade caramel but they used to be called almond it says that on the packaging this is the foundation package it came in so it's a lightweight and oil-free formula designed to help even your skin tone for a long-lasting beautiful semi-matte finish it's oil-free spf 15 sunscreen I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm just going to apply it to my face and see the difference of no foundation versus foundation. I just want to say that this foundation is not my skin tone, but I don't know how it's going to pick up on camera. This does come with a pump, so it's easy to apply. I'm just going to go directly to the face. It doesn't smell amazing on this side i'm going to be using the sponge this is a dollar general sponge i have a dollar general haul coming up but it won't be able to come up until christmas because i bought some stuff for people i don't want them to know what i bought I'm going to come closer for you guys to see the difference between no foundation versus foundation. No foundation. Foundation. I do have a lot of marks on my face. I'm going to try to put another layer to see if it will do anything. As for the sponge, I think that this sponge is really great. I believe that this foundation does oxidize. I think that I would recommend that if you wanted to purchase this foundation to get a shade lighter. The coverage is not bad at all. I think my biggest problem for this foundation is that it is not my color. But on camera it doesn't look bad at all. So I'm going to come back up closer for you guys to see the second layer. No foundation. And this is the foundation side medium but buildable coverage and on this side i'm going to be using a elf blending brush so i'm going to come up closer for you guys to see the brush versus the sponge side what do you guys think about that this is in the shade medium when i first tried it i did not see a huge difference in color i think this is too dark for me maybe today we'll see a difference because it is different lighting the packaging is definitely different glass frosted and clear plastic this is what the applicator looks like Right now, it does look lighter than my skin tone, but the last time, it just felt like it disappeared or it oxidized. I'm going to use the same sponge, but the other side to blend it. I feel like it brightened just a little. I'm going to apply a second layer of the concealer. I'm going to go and finish out the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I used my Wet n Wild Contour Powder Palette to finish off my face. Besides the foundation being off from my skin tone and the concealer not being as bright as I would like it, I absolutely love the finish of this foundation and I definitely recommend it for the price. I will link down below where I purchased it and I know I was not sponsored. I purchased everything out of my own pocket. Even if I was sponsored, I would still give you guys honest reviews because I would want someone to be just as honest with me. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if you want to see more videos of me testing out affordable foundations. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye guys.